Hey guys, welcome back to the stuff. Uh, this week I'm back up in my spare room looking at my plastering that I did a few videos ago uh, and I'll be showing you how I paint freshly plastered walls. Um, so if you watched my previous videos on how to plaster and you thought I'm going to give that a go, maybe this video is for you as a bit of a follow up on how to, how to paint it once it's dry. Um, and remember, while this intro is on, drop me a like, subscribe to my channel. So as always, I'll be going through the uh, materials, processes, that sort of thing I'm using. Um, I am using uh, a spray gun instead of normal paintbrushes and rollers in uh, this video, but um, don't let that put you off because actually the paint uh, ratios and all the things you do to prepare it are all exactly the same. Uh, it's just my application technique is different. So yeah, stick around. Um, and let's get over to the spare room and make a start. So I actually um, forgot to film the sort of intro for this, which is why you're looking at me in a little box uh, in front of a picture of my fresh plastic room. Um, but essentially what I'm uh, doing here is showing you the what the plaster looks like as it's drying. So you can see um, around the window, um, you've got some wet plaster. On the left hand wall, there's a mixture of wet and dry plaster where it's all drying at different rates and on the ceiling it's all dry so before you even think about starting to paint though everything needs to look like the ceiling and those patches on the wall which are like a salmon pink color that's what you're looking for um, before you start painting uh, and you might also want to if you feel that you've done um, a bit of a bad job or not a bad job but a um, uh, you've left a few trial marks or a few divots you might want to give those a fill with some filler or um, uh, a sand over with uh, a bit of paper uh, sandpaper if you've got them raised they should come off quite easily if you've really uh, um, not done a very good job of getting it flat wouldn't worry too much about it my recommendation is just paint it a dark colour and uh, forget about it put some shelves up pictures that sort of thing you'll be fine the first thing we're going to do is uh, seal the walls and that's what's called putting on a mist coat um, and a mist coat is uh, just a thin layer a thin layer of emulsion so it's emulsion paint mixed with water um, and you put that on first to seal your wall because at the moment your wall is very porous um, so it will suck all the water out your paint um, and what I'll do just to show you that is pop over to my bathroom uh, in my downstairs uh, uh, of my house where I have that exact thing happening where the previous owners have painted onto bare plaster so let's go and have a look at that so just to show you how important um, a mist coat is when we uh, when you like preparing fresh plaster I'm in my downstairs bathroom uh, you'll have to excuse the extractor fan noise but I need the lights on for the filming um, if we just look up here at the ceiling we've got a patch of uh, bare plaster and the reason that's bare is because the paint is peeling off so you can see there that this is coming off uh, like wallpaper uh, and that is because this plaster was never sealed so uh, when this uh, top coat of emulsion has gone on all the water has been sucked out of it and what's left behind is just paint which is not stuck. Uh, so that is the importance of preparing your plaster properly. Okay, so I'm using today some just trade contract matte uh, Brilliant White. Um, this is just cheap from Toolstation. It's nothing uh, special because this is the coat which is just gonna seal the plaster work as I've already mentioned. Um, I'm gonna be applying it with my paint sprayer um, there will be a review on this gun uh, in an upcoming video. This is part of the test for it. Um, and in the pot at the bottom, I've got 50% uh, paint and 50% water. So a 50 50 ratio of paint and water. So thin down. And the idea is I'll just be spraying that on to my plastic walls um, and that the water will hopefully draw into the. 
uh, plaster and it'll seal it. Um, obviously, if you are just mist coating your own walls and you don't have a paint sprayer, you can use a paintbrush and a roller. Um, but for me, this is all I'm using today. Uh, I'm not going to be masking up anywhere because I'm doing all four walls and I've got a pretty bare room so um, no, no real prep but if you haven't got that maybe do some prep. So I've given everything once over with sprayer. Um, I'm pretty pleased with the way that this turned out. You can probably see there's um, some got more than others. I think that's probably a function of how fast I was moving with the sprayer. Um, but overall, uh, I got a good coat on. Um, and yeah, generally really happy with the coverage. I think. Uh, Towards the end, uh, I was running out of paint a little bit. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera, but it's a bit splotchy. I think that was where it was picking up some and not others. So it was sort of firing it out in uh, bits. Uh, but generally, uh, I was really happy with the way that that turned out. Um, I am gonna do the top coat using the sprayer as well. Uh, in terms of time, this whole room took me about half an hour uh, to spray uh, on the mist coat. Obviously I've not had to do any masking off or anything like that. So that made that much easier. Uh, and for the top coat I'm going white on the ceiling and three walls. So again, I won't be doing any uh, masking off. So it should take half an hour again. So we'll see, on to the top coat. Once this is dry, of course. Okay, so now the mist coat is on, I'm going to follow up with a second coat. Uh, I'm once again using the uh, sprayer. Uh, this time I'm going to be using a bit of Dulux Vinyl Matte Pure Brilliant White. I'm doing that on three of the walls and the ceiling. Um, on the wall uh, over here, I'm going to have um, a forest green uh, colour just to mix it up. Uh, but for now I'm just going to spray on the uh, other three walls. Um, once again, I'm not masking up um, for the uh, ceiling or the walls because it's all the same colour so I don't mind a bit of spray over. And on this wall, if there is a bit of spray over, that'll be covered by uh, the green. Um, so what I've got, paint, paint gun and a bucket to mix it in. Um, so if you were using a roller and a tray, you could just pour that in the tray uh, and get straight on but because I'm putting it in the paint sprayer I'm just going to thin it down I'm just using some water to thin it down um, the vinyl trade just is water based anyway so that's uh, excellent and I've just got my viscosity funnel there just to make sure it um, goes through okay so I'm going to get that mixed up get it put in the um, in the sprayer and Spray coat on.
Okay, so I finished spraying uh, the mist coat and the second coat on the walls. Um, you can see that I've got quite good coverage on the walls and the ceiling. So that is just one mist coat and one uh, of the top coat. Um, but I probably will do uh, another coat just because it's recommended and there are some sort of lighter patches but I'm not going to do that in this video because uh, you've already seen me spray once um, but essentially uh, that is the way that I prepare and paint fresh plaster so I mentioned in the uh, when I was mixing the paint uh, ready for to go on the walls in the sort of mist coat and the top coat I didn't do any uh, masking up so if you look behind me here I've got my window frames uh, there, but I've taken off the trim. Uh, it's because I didn't like it. Um, it was covered in gloss paint. It's like a million years old with a thousand layers of paint on it. So I've just taken that off. I'm going to be putting new on. But if you are painting new plaster or, or spraying it, I'd suggest maybe masking up anything you don't want to, to touch. Um, I didn't also mask the window up. I basically just stopped spraying when I got up to the, the edge. And I've also taken off my skirting boards. Um, and I've got no floor uh, covering, I've just got bare um, floorboards at the moment so I'm not really bothered about any paint dripping on those because they'll all be covered by um, my, my floor anyway. Uh, so that's why I didn't do any masking up. Uh, but yeah, generally that is uh, it for prepping uh, fresh plaster, 50-50 um, mist coat and then which seals it the paint in the water gets sucked into the, the, the plaster, gives it a nice seal, which your um, top coat then sits on. So yeah, ideal. So there we have it. That was how I prepare uh, fresh plaster on my walls and my ceilings. Um, and all the stuff to do is celebrate with the beer. And this week I have got a Siren Soundwave IPA. So let's have a look at that. That one's alright. Remember, you stay safe, get some stuff done.